My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Elden Ring. It is time to kill the Beastmen of Farun... Farum... Uh, far, far, forgot the second word. Third word, fourth word actually. Beastmen of Farum... Azula? I'm gonna say Azula. But... You know, that's the Avatar attack. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Now, yeah, sure, maybe I shouldn't be impressed by remembering something that I last interacted with a couple of seconds ago. Sure, you can say that, or you can say congratulations. <laughs> what do I, you know? That's not my wave. A single chug and bad roll. Bad roll! Wow! If I wanted to fully like reveal all of my weak spots to the enemy, I don't know if I could have done it in a more consistent concise fashion. I think it's what I'm looking for here. Let me just pocket these bad boys. Ah. Right. That's the one that I need to walk away from. I did forget about that. All right. Yeah. 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 Now, sure. Are there shields in the game? Yes. And shields are fine. Don't get me wrong. But not if they engender passivity. When the Scarlet Rot gauge is full, you will become sick and take continuous damage. The Scarlet Rot is a dangerous status ailment, but the higher your immunity, the longer it takes for the gauge to kill. Drove save! This is the first time I've been here, of course. Um, on my way to try and discover uh, the boss in the area. It, hopefully I remember to edit out all the other attempts. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. I don't edit. That's rude. That was supposed to be a good time for a heavy hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make some distance on that. Unfortunately, I needed the enemy to actually close that distance there. Which is not a reliable approach. I was, I was actually gonna be safe there, but the terrain obstructed me from my safety. Even if I bail that roll, as long as I continue really quick and run, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, there we go. It's it's forgiving enough that if you early roll, you can just roll again as long as you're rolling away rather than around. Yeah, that last roll, unfortunately. If I can roll towards during that last attack and get the in, uh, get my iframes at the right time. That would be ideal. Same on that attack as well, but unfortunately to both of them, I reveal myself to massive damage if I fail. That's more like it, baby! That's less like it. No, 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 no. I don't need to die. That's a thing I'm not obligated to do. And then he does a quick swipe. Go. No, 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 no. I'm safe. I'm gonna need a good opportunity here. Swipe. And I'm gonna use that to Find my opportunity. Blame Drake Talisman. Um, what's it do? Uh, 
imagine it's equipment, probably a shield. Nope. Up, oh, talisman. Uh, boosts fire damage negation. I mean, that seems useful. Ah, talisman slots. Okay, cool. Is it got a weight to it at all? Yes, it does have a weight. Okay. Armor. Oh, they're rings. That's a ring. Still has the weight system as well. I think it's good. Uh, return to the entrance if I wanted to leave like that. Uh, I mean, look, give me, a, give me a moment to rifle through the pockets of any errant bodies in here. So, how many bosses is that now? Uh, I mean, you know, all mini bosses. Anyone that's got a health bar that uh, comes up on the screen and they have a name, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to consider a boss. Uh, okay. So I can try and fast travel my way back to the Church of Ella, right? Yes. Nice. I like that. Um, back to you. Wait, well, you're back. to you. Well. Um, okay, any more unique items available from you? <laughs> Telescope, reusable. <sighs> a torch. I guess I, I may want a torch just to light dark areas. Yeah, I can fully anticipate there's going to be a period where I'm just specifically going to be asked to have a torch. Some dark hallway, uh, etc. <laughs> I usually like to get at least two items in a list before I drop the old et set, but it's not always the available opportunity or brain power. It's going to be difficult to make my way up that sheer mountain. Let's go back to the old beaten path. Let's uh, okay. through there. Ah, wait. Now I remember why I abandoned that, because of all the mosquitoes. And they've immediately seen me again. Can you please approach now? I'm not even gonna wear armor. Got him. <laughs> I feel like I spent. Oh, not come. Hey, critical. Maybe my timing was off. Yep. Reveal the glowing weak spot. I feel like effectively what I've done is I've spent, you know, 30 minutes searching the house for a fly spray bottle. And then at the end of that, I've gone, you know what? I'm just going to try and slap it out of the air and then immediately murdered it. If you can't clap a fly out of the air with your initial hit. Again, as I said last episode. Reorient your goals. Instead, think of it like this. You were simply applauding the fly for its agility. Its ability to evade you. Appreciation and gratitude is, you know, a couple steps up the emotional rung from emotion. A couple rungs up the emotional ladder. Thank you. To not half mix a metaphor in there. Then, you know, failure. I do realize that, you know, aside on either direction, there could easily be enemies waiting in the bushes to ambush me, but again, the game's more fun if you let them do that. And then learn, rather than pass every single corner with a weary, uh, 
wariness. Yep. <laughs> Couldn't have written it better myself. This looks important. There has to be an item in and amongst those ruins somewhere, right? Let me just quickly get this all bit of grace over here. Oh! I can't see him. Are they finally going to stop calling me maidenless? Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? Barely know. They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I need to rub it in. I can play the role of Maiden. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Interesting. Can you just deny this quest? Because you're probably going to need to level up. But is this like, if I deny this, I'm in a soul level one run from here on out? What? Rune level one run. Rune level nine, I guess, because I'm the hero. Uh, I'm going to accept. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Mm-hmm. Spectral Steed Whistle. I'm not gonna <clears throat> anticipate what that does, but I got a feeling. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a Spectral Steed named Torrent. Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Oh, great. So all I have to do is play the flute. And then the weird deer is going to come pick me. Uh, hang on. Uh, level up flasks. Remember spells. Shall I turn your room? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. That's, that's such a your nice thoughts, animation. Your ambitions. The principles you would follow. Oh, boy. Oh, God. That's a deep question. I'll answer it next time you ask. Uh... When the level up menu, sorry, with the level up menu, you can spend runes to increase your abilities. With each attribute increase, your level rises by one as your level rises. So do the amount of runes required for your next ability increase. Now, the thing that immediately comes to mind for me is strength is mainly our damage here. Endurance, mainly our stamina and our equip speed. Uh, sorry, our equip load. If I'm going to be swinging big weapons and trying to wear very little armor, but still rolling around the field, I could totally see a world where the double increase of endurance here makes it for us. That said, while I'm still trying to scope out enemies, I want to take a couple more hits in a boss. So you know, I feel like getting some extra HP to begin with might be the direction I take this one. And by might, I mean it well. Lovely to see. Horseback riding. Use the Spectral Steed Whistle to summon and ride your Spectral Steed. If your Spectral Steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost the Flask of Tears. 
flask of crimson tears to do so. You can dismount by using the whistle or pressing that button. Ah, there, there we go with the pouches. From the pouches menu, you can equip six items in your pouches. Uh, four of those items can be used again without opening the main menu. So, ah, right, top button, then across. Great. Uh, so... I don't have the ability to use the spectra, uh, the spectral, the ashes, rather. Um, triangle up is probably the easiest thing for me to access here, so I will drop the spectral steed whistle in there. And then I want to make that as far as possible from the memory of Grace. Okay, so... Oh, hell yes! Adrian mounted jump. Another mounted jump. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Sorry, you get a one shot at hitting me. It's all I'll allow. A war pick? It's gotta be a weapon. And it's a strength based weapon? It is. Does less damage than our current. And actually increases our load to medium. That's gonna be the reason I can't take it. Well, can't take it. I'll take it. May just not use it for the moment. There's an item we're gonna need. I'm almost feeling in mind of like Shadow of War right now. Shadow of Mordor, rather. Shadow of More War. Yeah. Fragment. Yeah, that makes sense. Given the location, uh, there's got to be more in here. That one there, but there's the vampire bats on the outside. I don't really want to invite them in. Because they would need that. Because they're bats. <clears throat> they're not usually allowed inside. Nice try. You're not well shielded enough to, to play that strat against me there, bud. That tree is shaking too much for one that is already sheltered from the uh, the wind in that direction. That's not that's not a critique of the physics system in the game. It's more a suspicion of that tree. <laughs> Something's animating that. Um, what if we did this? Look back. That's an easier kill. Ah, but I have told everyone in the entire world my home address. I doxed myself on main, apparently. Wait, what? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I appreciate your uh, a lack of awareness. Map Limgrave West. So that'll fill out part of the master map that was extremely not filled out for us. Now, I do have a torch. I was about to ask one of them to drop one for me, but no, 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 I've, I've already got it. Okay. I just want to circle the camp a couple times, making my way inside, just so I know that I'm not going to be surrounded when I am in there. Wow, their awareness is garbage. Again, hollows, I get it. But this is also my experience of learning the, uh, the system. I guess it is worth noting the dogs did catch me instantly. They were unfooled. All right, bud. There's that whole section further on up there. Alright, I'll, 
I'll do some more shaving off at the edges here. Yeah, that was a bit much. Damn it! They gave me the old quick strike. Nice try. I meant that one to the dog. Uh, tree and beast circo. Get him. I mean, look. That's their fault for not being close enough to be struck by that, frankly. That's what concerned. Ah, uh -huh. this appears to be what we were discovering. That dungeon in there. Because there was the map above. But there's got to be a little more if you're going to... you got to sweeten the pot if you want me to clear out this many enemies. If you want me to commit this many homicides, you're going to have to grease my palm a little bit. Because I use that for the homicides. I'm not certain how. And don't ask. Excuse me. But... No, no, no. You've forgotten the rules of engagement. I'm supposed to win. Okay, that. That was more reasonable. Yeah, that wasn't. Yeah, that. Let's let's actually fight. I I attempted to invalidate this enemy, and I've recognized now underestimating them is not gonna work. Okay, so their poise is particularly good. Yeah, that's a problem for us. Oh, that's gonna be a big old prob. All right, hold on. You've survived round one. Ding, ding, ding. I'm just gonna try and make my safe way back up here. No need to expose myself to any murders. Mine or otherwise. Yeah, they're all back. Well, how about I make my way into that dungeon that I previously identified? Just very quickly. Yep. Yeah. Can I collect materials from horseback? That'd be really good. Hello. Dungeon. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Adding skills. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. Any armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. Any armaments type determines the skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. Uh, with a whetstone knife, you can add Ashes of War. You can use Ashes of War, rather, to grant affinities to your armaments at Science of Grace. This way, you can alter an armament's attack affinity, boost attribute scaling, and more. Okay, so, you know, specializations in terms of gem type, I guess. Uh, a armament's type determines what affinities can have. Some special armaments, like those with unique skills, cannot be granted new affinities. <laughs> we get the Ash of War, Storm Stomp, and the Quetstone Knife. Neat. Glad to have done so. I'm going to need to teleport out of here before I uh, die. I was worried it was going to say, no, you're in a dungeon. You can't teleport. Get back out there and take your lumps like a man, Private Twinkle Toes. Line from the TF2 soldier. I just can't do it in his voice. That voice does not live within me. Many of the TF2 voices do. Not particularly the soldier. I get, I get, like, I, I become a caricature of it very quickly. And it's difficult to become a caricature of a character that is a caricature. Try saying that ten times fast. But I managed. Hello. Hmm. 
mean, look, I wasn't... I wasn't intimidated prior. But there's something about the giant giant right there that has, you know what? Got me a little shot. Ah. <gasps> Lord Swarm straight sword. I'm not running a quality build, but mayhaps I could. That'll do it. I need you to put your head on the ground for a pound. Mm. With all of these archers firing at me, I'm very much in mind of... Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm very much in mind of a uh, a Taurus demon. Like, they're trying to bait me into fighting the big thing, despite the fact that there's a bunch of archers in the background. Uh, that's the war menu. You can use the actual war to grant skills and affinities. Yes, yes, yes. Spy infinity. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's look at what we could do here. So we could get Storm Stomp, which would uh, lower the FP costs. It would increase our physical damage bonus, but it would decrease our base physical damage. Just doesn't seem appropriate for us. Lord Swarms. Yeah, this is this is a quality weapon. I had to imagine it since I saw it, but... Uh, Warpick can you use... Yeah, you can use the Storm Swarm. Uh, it doesn't seem particularly incredible for anyone. Frankly. Maybe my strength was a lot higher. So, is the giant going to see me? Oh. Yep. Hmm. All right, how long's your leash? Want to come out here? Why don't you come out here and find me out in the open? Huh? 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 Oh god, he's doing it. Ah, I didn't mean it! Put your head on the ground. Head on the ground. Head down, thumbs up, mister. We're playing. Absolutely. Mmm. Uh, there's more where that didn't come from. My good god, I don't know if I could have been less effective with that strike if I'd healed them. Okay, I, I didn't get hit by that earthquake, but I did get hit by the aftershocks. Go that way, and then... Okay, I need to late roll on that one. Or just hug a leg. Admittedly, probably hugging leg would serve me well as a rule here. You're very similar to the Lost Giant, or the Last Giant at the start of Dark Souls 2, friend. I gotta watch your legs for the stippy stoppies. I just wanted to get a closer look. I just want to get all up close and personal. I wanted to know that man's soul. That's not a great visit.
No messing around. Come on. Well, I don't know if he's gonna. Okay. Excuse me? I thought there were only four archers here. Oh, don't you dare stay at range. Thanking you. One swing done. One. Two. Try and get away from that one. That's probably a bit too early to heal. Let's be real. <laughs> uh, I was tempted to let loose some of the wild strikes from our skill. gonna need another moment where he's extremely down on the ground to do that. I tried to do it a little too eagerly when he's got a short recovery period coming up and it's an attack that just continues as long as you're using the move. Yeah. It's an attack that just continues as long as you're holding the skill. So it's very easy to get baited into using it for too long a period of time. So I may as well use it for a period of time that is a reasonably uh, long period of time w w w when I can, which is when the enemy is on, on the ground for a long period of time. There we go. I made my way through. Have you ever wanted to do look so much more like that you couldn't? Yeah, I can't remember that one. The fact that I think it's I'm pretty sure it's Teak who knows that one off by heart. Uh, not the, have you ever wanted to go so far to do look more like yourself? No, not that one. The, the, uh, the kid in the interview. If you know, you know. That was great. That was incredible. That was perfect. Well executed. Yeah. I held on to that for uh, one attack too long. And I knew it at the time. What are you doing? You have a transformation? Okay. You know, it's when you pull out a shield, I'm really going to start. Sweating. I see. I was. There we go. Hoping we would get that kill for us. Thank you. Good stabby work. Thank heck that came down with a pommel. If you did that in a slightly different way, you would have gone, oh, excuse me? I appear to have harmed your face enough for you to have hit a poise gauge. Okay. I see the value of the giant sword now. And I am about to see my life flash before my eyes. A surprising amount of it? Foot based. Hmm. What am I, the eventual in memoriam for Quentin Tarantino? I shouldn't have I should I shouldn't have spiked that joke with Ohio like it was a bad one. That's 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 a that's a fun reference. Uh, you wanna come down? Okay, so I am starting to encounter some more 
consistent performance issues. And it seems to be whenever I look up. If only Vincent D'Onofrio would tilt us towards the moon. <laughs> that requires knowing an obscure tweet that Vincent D'Onofrio sent like five years ago. I... Look, this this series is uh, a, a grab bag of punchlines and references. And, you know, not all of them are going to be entirely accessible. <laughs> No one suspected, no one suspected, no one's expected, no one suspected that they would get all of them, but no one's expected to get them. They're very much born out of the time when I was recording exclusively for me. <laughs> Look, if you're gonna pull your sword out anytime soon, I am gonna need to... Exploit your health bar a little bit more before that occurs. Ah, no, 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 the sword's coming out. Ah. No, I managed to roll. I shouldn't have been in there for the final strike. I did manage to roll though. Get him, cut him. Roll. My god, was that a powerful strike. I knew the snippy snobby was going to lead to something. GG, never a doubt. Oh, come on, I'm not even gonna... <laughs> That's gonna respawn if I sit down as well. So rude. All right. What I really need in this area is a shield. And sure, I have one in my inventory, and sure, I could equip it. And sure, that's a good idea, and sure, it's what I should do. But instead, I think, I'd like to just complain that I don't have it, if possible. You, I, I'm you. The Skulldogras ones there, hiding themselves in the distance. Knew it was coming my way, but I did not want to swerve. Vanquishing enemy groups. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. The number and type of flasks will be replenished. Uh, to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. Can I heal, please? Oh, <gasps> two of them. Nice. Godric soldier greaves. Really? Who died? Um. Okay, I'm, not, I'm not seeing immediate enemies further on the path, but again, there were those uh, evil ones. It does feel like that's where it would be, though, right? That looks like the most collectible plant I've ever seen in my entire life. Erba, Erba. Nice. I like when they've got good fantasy names. No equivalent possible in any extant language. Nope. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You blew the horn. 
This was supposed to be a one-on-one. -on -one. I said meet alone with 10s and 20s in unmarked cash, but no. Non-sequential as well. I was very specific. I've seen CSI. Next, sir. Mm, sorry. Good box. There's got to be another one of the assassin ones I knock in the corner somewhere. Excuse me. Or not. It's an entirely appropriate result as well. I forgot that I can... I'm gonna... It's gonna take me a while to remember that I do have a horsey. You can collect from horseback. I am extremely pleased to see this. Can you collect items from horseback? Yes! Golden Sea. What are you? Golden Seed, a bolstering material, increases the sacred, number, uh, sacred flask's number of uses. Good. Do I have any special compulsion to go in any of those areas just yet? I feel not. A little bit of the Erd tree there. Uh, it's looking relatively open. I haven't seen the side of Grace in a while, so I don't actually have a bead on the direction that it was implying I should go, but I do believe it's just up here. Ish. Uh huh. Let's see. You can fight. Yep. So it's extremely viable to fight via horseback. Do I have to always be in momentum? I usually assume in most vehicle control scenarios or, or mount controls, the case may be. Uh, so oh, wait, hang on. Left side, right side. Right side heavy up. Left side heavy up. Okay, okay. Mounted combat's going to be good. I hate that immediately my mind went, okay. Am I going to joust anyone as, like, a boss fight? Because if that does happen... Man, I would have loved to be surprised by it. Not even think it was possible. But now, every time I see a boss... Especially if any of them are on a horse... I'm afraid I shall wonder... Further on up. We'll continue taking the main beaten path. Uh huh. Oh, another free item for us. That dismount and the mount animations are both excellent. Lost Grace discovered. Let's see what this bad boy is. It's appropriately purple to pique my interest. Stone Sword Key. Yes. Hmm. Hello. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. A chrysalid. And you become grafted by the spider. So immediately, you know, chrysalid, spider, I'm, I'm thinking in the uh, insectoid realm. Yes, I understand that a spider is an arachnid, don't worry, but I am thinking in that area. Uh, and chrysalid, you're thinking of something, you know, obviously a chrysalis. 
Uh, is it those things that were in the swampy area? The, the, the melons, the rotten melons that we were seeing? You're all on your own, are you? Mainless. Heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Well, you've come to be one with the spider. Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. You've become... Like the spider. We're not chrysalis. I think. We're tarnished. We can be many things. We contain multiples. Oh, I know. Multitudes, I mean. Can you take this little one along with you? Oh. Spirit jellyfish acid. This thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think. The little one. Cool. I'll protect it and you with my life. It's a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, sure. tell them I love them. And that despite my craven heart, Ooh. I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? That got a little less wholesome. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh. Can you pass or just a different kind of wholesome, I guess. You know what I mean? I, I mean, it's a, it's a bright sentiment, to be sure, but it, it is a portent of death as well. But typically, those don't overlap for the moment, though. Let me just say that my name is Ryan City, the name of the game has been Elden Ring. Up at the top left, you can see a series playlist for all my content on the game, past, present, and future. Down below it is YouTube's recommendation for what it thinks you should watch next. If you want to see the series in sequential order, the best way to do that is through the series playlist. Again, that one in the top left. Uh, streaming past the names of the people so generously. You can want to be on Patreon.com slash RapsyPlays. That will bother $10 tier. And a special thanks to 